Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at these two battery powered fuel pumps from TerraPump. What these are going to do is thread onto your gas cans and provide you an easy way to fill up your car, your truck, maybe you've got a lawnmower or an ATV, or you just need to transfer fuel between two canisters. You can, and you don't have to worry about lifting the jug up, making spills and making a mess, because all of this is battery powered and it'll just pump it with an automatic shutoff. Let's check them out. So there's going to be two different styles. The one I'm holding right now is the standard version. It's going to thread onto the gas can and include three different adapter pieces to help it fit most standard style cans. And then it's going to feature a slightly shorter intake and output hose. The one behind it that I've got set up is going to be for your more racing and utility style cans. That's going to come with the fourth adapter piece, the one we have in place right now to let it work with those style cans. And then the intake and the output hose is going to be just a bit longer. So if you need that style adapter, go with this one. And it's gonna come with all those standard adapters as well. Or if you don't need that, just go with the first one that only comes with those three standard adapters. So these are gonna be rated for a variety of different liquids, including diesel, like we're gonna be pumping through this one today. But there are some that they aren't approved for. And the reasoning for that is the actual internal seals. Some of the ones that they aren't approved for can result in corrosion of those seals and creating a defective product. So be sure that you're using the right pump for the right job. And even if you are using this for diesel and decide you wanna use it for gas, be sure to wash it thoroughly with water and soap and let it dry out to make sure that you're not mixing any of those liquids together. So let's set up the pump and start getting some fuel into this truck. We'll start by removing the nozzle on our can and sliding on one of our adapter pieces. Like I said, the standard one comes with three different sizes. The larger one's pretty easy to tell apart, but these two are very similar. The only real difference is that one's slightly taller and one's slightly shorter. So we're gonna use the tall one here, get that threaded on, and then we can get the intake nozzle slid down in and thread it on to the adapter. From here, we can take it over to the truck, insert the in the output nozzle, excuse me, and turn it on. So one thing with this is that obviously the can is quite heavy and holding it there would be a pretty big nuisance, but the hose is long enough to reach from the ground to the actual gas cap. So we can get this just set in place and I don't have to worry about it. Plus the clip on the end here will grab onto the lip and hold the output nozzle for us. All that's left to do now is hit the on button and let it run. You will need four AA batteries to power it. You can use two if you're in a pinch, but four is gonna be the best option because it will deliver the most power. And then with everything hooked up, we can just hit the on button and start to pump. This is gonna pump at 2.4 gallons per minute. And the same goes for the one that comes with the racing jug adapter. But now we can just let it sit and do its thing. Because it's kind of fighting gravity here, it won't quite get up to 2.4 gallons per minute. We did some testing earlier today and the incline or decline of the hose does help the flow, but it is pumping really well. And with that auto stop nozzle up top, you can kind of let this be and we don't have to watch it super duper closely because we know once it's full, it will shut off. That sensor is right here in the nozzle with a stop line right here. So whenever it does get filled up and reach this line, it will shut off. Whenever you're done using it, the nozzle will just store inside itself. So it keeps things pretty well contained and really all you have is the output hose just kind of dangling to the side of the jug. But since this is something that threads on, chances are you're probably gonna be leaving it installed on the can that you're using. So from here, it's gonna store pretty cleanly. So as I'm getting towards the end of the can here, this is pretty much empty and I'm not really getting much more out of it. I can hit off. I like to just lift it up and let whatever's in the hose kind of drain out because as it gets to the end, the flow does kind of stop and you get a lot of fuel that just sits in the hose there. But from there, that's all done. We can get this stored up and then we're good to go. I'd say this got most of what was in there. There is a little bit left at the bottom of just kind of residual. If you did spend the time to kind of tilt it the right way and let that nozzle at the bottom kind of suck it up, you probably could get a lot more out of it. But for right now, on our case, this is pretty good and we're good to go. So overall, these are gonna work really well. I was impressed with how fast they pumped. 
and the fact that the adapters did fit so well, I like that they thread onto the can so that we can get it installed and just kind of leave it and have it just ready to go whenever we do need it. If you're not looking for something so permanent, they do make more universal styles of these pumps that just slot inside the can and don't actually thread on. So if you're only using this every now and again, or maybe with a wide variety of different cans, that's maybe the way I would go. Those are still battery powered and do have recommended liquids to be using them with. But if you have a certain can like this one that you always have on hand and you're using pretty frequently, I think this that's gonna install on it and thread in is a really good way to go. And that'll complete our look at these battery powered fuel pumps from TerraPump. Thanks for watching.